I think, again, very challenging preseason schedule, maybe even top to bottom, a little more difficult um, than last year. So we're going to be tested every single weekend, um, I feel like, during preseason and some games in there to get us on our feet, but also uh, some games that are going to be big challenges for us and always prepare us for the whack and that's that's kind of what we look to do when we set up our preseason schedule and then um you know the way the whack was last year it, w it was a shootout and the the overall quality of the whack continues to get better and i think it's going to continue to get better next year um utah valley returns a great young team going to be very good new mexico state's always tough um unkc brings back basically their top kids uh, Cal Baptist, I think, is just getting started what they're going to do in the WAC. So, um, and even Grand Canyon had some big injuries last year. They um, maybe held them back a little bit. So I think we're going to have our hands full when it comes to WAC play as well and um, going to be a little young to, to start the season, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, and, you know, our goal is going to be to go out and improve every single night from through preseason and, and into conference play and hopefully be there, make a run at the end of the year. What does it mean to you to be able to bring Washington State into the field house? Uh, you know, that's that's a, it's exciting to bring a Pac-12 school. Of course, we had Texas Tech down here, so a Power 5 school. But, um, you know, Washington State will probably be a top 25 program uh, to open up the season next year. So to have a top 25 program come down here and uh, give us a shot at them on our home floor is something that's exciting. should be exciting for the fans. Um, and I think it just shows the growth of, of the program. Um, over the last four or five years. I don't know if we would be able to attract somebody like that four or five years ago, but uh, with the program going in the direction it is, like those teams want us on their schedule and, and we want to we want to play those type of teams and, and take our shot at them. And um, I think it's it's not a horrible matchup for us. It is a, a tall task, of course. Anytime you're facing a top 25 opponent, it is. But um, sometimes volleyball is a little bit about matchups and and we'll take our chances. Washington State, one of several matches against uh, postseason competition. But what does that do for your team to play so many postseason teams? Uh, I think you just, when you're, when you're facing those teams, they're just so consistent and they force your team to play consistently. Um, you can't get away with having a big run and teams just folding away. Um, and I think that really prepares us for uh, play in the WAC and especially on the road in the WAC because teams tend to not go away and the travel so hard in the WAC so you got to really find a way to stay consistent and um, those postseason teams you can put a four or five or six point run on them and they're not going to fold you can take set one set two from them and they're not going to fold so I think those are things that you face in our conference on the road uh, so I think that's that's a big advantage of playing that many postseason teams in the preseason.